This old bottle's got the best of me But I just can't put it down Most nights I can't hardly sleep Got some things to figure out Between me and the bottle The good Lord up above It don't seem right to lose the one you love yeah, I want to try again Without you, this world just ain't worth living in I guess my thoughts get lost Somewhere between Me and the bottle Hi, and welcome to Kelly, where we talk about life, your life and my life. And through Kelly, we hope to inspire. I have Greg Irwin on the show today. Um, beautiful song. And like literally made me want to cry. What, in, what inspired this song? Does it have a personal history? And do you want to talk about that personal history if it does? It really don't have a personal history. Uh -huh. I mean, some of it kind of does, but not really. It was just something that uh, came to me one night. And... Uh, I had to write it down. Well, you, you you put yourself in that in that place, and it, it pulls. On, it has a personal history to somebody. I mean, you know, you take on that, and um, and a lot of people relate. And a lot of people are in that. A lot of people are in that situation. Yeah, frequently. Yeah. Yes. So, introduce. Uh, we're introducing you to the <coughs> audience. You are a singer songwriter. Um, you played the guitar lovely, beautiful. Well, uh, when did you start playing? Uh, about probably 13 years ago. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wow. I would have thought you'd been playing since you were a small, small child. Well, there's, there's pictures out there of me with uh, with one when I was about three, but I never never took it up until later on. Wow. But I've been singing since I was about three or four. So. And did you? What made you decide? to what it was start playing a guitar mm -hmm. um, I was a uh, I wanted to do the songs I was in a band just as a front man and uh, there were some songs I wanted to do and uh, the band didn't want to do them so I being bought, able to play that instrument I bought a guitar and, and I, I got to where I would do the songs I wanted to do on on our breaks uh-huh we had um, <coughs> uh, his name is Mike, and he uh, was one of the choreography choreographers for like 30 years for Cool in the Gang. Oh wow! And but uh, so his advice to give to um, a musician from you know being a part of that band for so long was learn to play your own instrument. He said, if I can give you any advice, learn to play your own instrument. That's where I've seen people really because you're dependent on somebody even as a as a as a uh, a singer, you're dependent on um, people who play instruments if you don't play. Yeah, and I wish I'd have started earlier. It would have probably kept me out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah, but that trouble makes us who we are, right? Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about your band, where you're playing, and what you got going on. Well, we go by Greg Irwin and 200 Proof. And um, we've got some shows coming up with the Mike Watson Band. we got a a festival called the Dance and Ghost Festival in LJ, Georgia. So and let me stop you right there. Uh, Mike Watson, uh, he's been on our show. He's another country artist. Keep him in your prayers because he did just find out that he has cancer. And so prayers are really needed. They sure are. Okay. We're doing a show together at uh, Dance and Goats Festival up in LJ, Georgia, September 28th. And then the next big thing for me after that would be the Georgia National Fair down in Perry, Georgia. We'll be down there on the 11th, 12th, and 13th of October. And then we have uh, Gravel Grits, Fireflies and Picks Music Festival at Left Nut Brewing up in Gainesville, Georgia. And uh, Hunter Flanagan going to be there with us on that, along with Ray Scott and uh, a couple other phenomenal artists. Nice. I, I, Hunter Flanagan is one of my um, 
my acting students, I introduced him to acting, <coughs> and um, and uh, he, that kid is so good at networking. He's just really good at net networking and and getting you to like him, and he will uh, forever, you know, give you credit for the things that you've done in, in his life. And he, when I told him that you were, or he told me you were going to, I don't know, somehow he found out you were going to be on the show. And he said, um, he said, yeah, that's my mentor. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's a good kid. He's, he's like my little brother. How did you meet him? I'm not, I can't really remember. I, I don't, we've been, we've been uh, friends for a couple of years and, uh, we did a show with uh, with Confederate Railroad, and I got him in on that. We did a show with um, Mark Wills up in Blue Ridge. Of course, I had to have my old Young Gun. Uh -huh. I gave him a nickname called Young Gun because <laughs> uh, he's he's the only he's one of the only kids I've seen that does as much as he does. Yeah, you know? I mean he's a workhorse. He calls me his mentor, but I think he might be mine. <laughs> Well, you just look at you just look at that, and I, I tell Hunter this because I started off with him. His his parents like um, brought him to me for stage performance, and he wasn't the. I mean, he he didn't have the most beautiful voice, but the kid just works it, and he makes it work for him. And it's a testament that you don't have to have the perfect whatever. You it, it really is developed over time. He's got better in the last year. Yeah. Yeah. A lot better. Yeah. I, I went to go see him recently and I was like, whoa. So, um, your band um, is country. Are you primarily the writer of the, of of your material? Or? Of, 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 of all our originals, I am. Okay. Um, but I am open to any good, real country songs. We, oh. don't, we don't do pop country. We just do the real country. Okay. Um, how do people follow you? Facebook, um, GregorWinCountry.com, GregorWinCountry on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, that's the three ways. We just had, also just released a five song EP on uh, on a site called CD Baby, so it's available worldwide on every platform you can find. The name of the, the EP is called 200 Proof named after my band. Okay. And it's got five really good songs that I like on it. And uh, Me and the Bottle is is one of them. And it's, it's full. We just had released that about two weeks ago. Okay, nice. Um, challenge of, is you're the front man of your band? Uh, well, I mean, you're- and They call me boss. You're the boss of your band. They, yes. call, me, they call me boss, but I, I don't look at it that way. <laughs> But uh, taking taking that responsibility, uh, challenge of running a band, and uh, what you love about running a band. <clears throat> the thing the thing I love about having a band, I don't know if I'm running the band or not, but um, is the camaraderie and uh, the networking and stuff with other musicians. And um, my band is. Um, it's not. It doesn't take a whole lot to manage those guys. They just they show up and they're they're ready to go. Right. I mean, I've got some top notch musicians playing with me, and I uh, work with some top notch uh, venues and uh, and promoters. And but now the thing that's not fun about running the band is is twenty four seven. Even as a solo artist, twenty four seven, you've got to be network and reaching out to people and never just ne you can't ever give up right because you're not going to have anything that's fair whether it's in music business or any other business or life in general never give up you can't ever give up yeah yeah i love that it's funny um mike watson i kept trying to ask him you know give us a uh you know the hardship the struggle the and he, he's the same way. He's like, my band, my band runs good. Like, <laughs> and, and it is that way. When you end up uh, working with senior people who have been around for a while, that's that's a gifted place to be. Like I've got uh, even good backup fill-ins for my band. Like my lead guitar player is Rob Grader. He's, he's true to country. Um, Keith, Keith Thomas 
mm-hmm. which is a good friend of Mike Watson. He's, mm-hmm. he's my piano player. He has a house keyboardist at the Buckboard. He toured with Powell Overstreet. A bunch of good people. I've got Ralph Berg playing drums. I've, I've nicknamed him the machine because he's always. And then I have a, a good bass player, uh, Eric Clanton. I picked him up about four months ago, and he's he's really coming in strong. And I just got a good bunch of guys. But nice. It's, but it is a twenty four seven thing. Like even on your days off, you don't get a day off. Yeah, and getting the right the right chemistry with everybody sometimes can be a challenge. That's for you to remind you that you are a gift in life. Um, I, I wish you you know, the greatest success. Please come back and join us again. Beautiful song. Um, some advice to give to somebody just starting out. Never give up and decide what you want to be and where you want to go. Love that. Every day, every day decide, because we're still deciding, right? And it's never going to be easy. It'll never be easy yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's just going to give you anything. Right. Yeah. You got to do luck like at Young Gun. Hunter planning and yeah. just go get it. You got to go get it. Yeah. You got to and, and, and make those calls. Thank you for, for reaching out to us. And like I said, love to follow you. So, um, you know, during the year next year, hit me up, come back on, play another song for us. I will. Okay. Sounds we hope good. this segment inspired and educated you.